That's what they do. You go there. That's what they do. They just love to cast people. Where? Are you talking about the comments or the channel itself? Well, well, the, the, if you talk, yeah, I'll be happy if you ask. Can I record? Not just random. It's a public know. place. It's fine. Well, it's a public place, but yeah. you stop people to ask them, can we talk? So it's not. It's not necessary. If you think it's better, that's fine. But it's not necessary, is it? I just want to ask you. Uh -huh. The point is, I ask you a simple question. You still haven't answered my question. No, I, I, let, let, me t let me just explain something to you, Paddy. Let me explain. Let me explain something to you. Come, let me come, come. I don't, I, I'm not ready for camera today. Okay, listen. Some Paddy. days I am okay. No problem. Not every day I let me just Let me just say something to you. Are you with me? I am listening. Okay. There's a thing where... Well, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. There's a thing where a person, he asks a question and a person gives an answer. If you're not happy with the answer, that's fine. We can continue the conversation. But you can't say the question hasn't been answered. Because I'm telling you that the message which Jesus came with is the same message which Moses came with and the same message which Muhammad came with, peace be upon all of them, that God is one and worship him alone without any partners. That's the, that's the message of all the messengers. So you, but I don't, I don't believe that you as a Christian, you've understood the concept of the oneness of God. You see, are because you, of the Trinity. Are you, are you telling me, uh, Jesus, when the only thing Jesus was doing is he's go everywhere telling God is one. Is that the only message you came to preach? No. <laughs> no. So that's why I asked. But that's why I asked. But, but, what that, is the but, that, is, but that is the foundation which everything no, is built we upon. We don't have problems. Uh -huh. Nobody has problems. Uh -huh. The point is, what is the gospel? The gospel has a meaning. What is that meaning? Okay. You you explain from your side. I mean, do you know or not? Because the gospel is like when you read the Quran. The Quran clearly tells us. Uh, uh, the Torah, he makes distinction of the Torah, the Injil, yes. and the Zabu, and the Quran. Yes, the which distinction. Is the, which is the revelations that Allah revealed. Gave to each prophet, to, according to Islam, yes. Right, yes. but then, according to Islam teaches. Yeah, yes. But then, the gospel, yeah. they said the Injil. Yeah. Uh, the Injil is a Greek word, anyway, uh, in uh -huh. terms of when you translate it yes. into English, it means the good news. Yes. But that good news, Yes. It has a meaning, okay. and the meaning needs average person uh -huh. wants to know because at the end of the day, I have always said this: yeah. the books is been given to people for us to understand. Yeah. So if we don't understand the books, then we have to throw all the books somewhere. But the books, the meaning uh -huh. to it, the message of the books. So what is the meaning of the gospel? Okay. Okay. That's all I ask. I'm no, not no, asking. No problem. If you no problem. I'm going to answer you. <laughs> when you talk about the Injil, yes. I'm going to tell you, according to the Quran, whether you accept it, whether you don't accept it, it's a, it's a separate matter. The Quran is very clear. In Surah Ma'idah, chapter number five, it mentions that we gave the, that we gave Jesus the Injil. Okay. In chapter 19 of the Quran, it mentions, "Qala inni Abdullah atani al kitab." Jesus said, "Verily, I am the worshipper of God, and I have been given a book." So for us, the Injil is what Jesus was given the revelation at the time. It's not referring to 27 books of the New Testament written after Jesus, even though they may contain something from the essence of the message, but the message is not preserved, you don't have it. See, that's interesting response. But you see what you just said, very, very interesting. I'm glad you, I'm happy you're interested. <laughs> very interesting response, uh -huh. but that's okay. Are you, are you surprised by but, the response? Because you see... Are you surprised by the okay. response? Well, if you tell me, yeah. yeah, Jesus preached the same message, which is one God. Yes. Nobody has to forget that. Because we know God is one. 
because uh, the, the, the Trinity is not, not one. No, I'm not. Let's. I know you guys have problem with Trinity. But I'm not talking about Trinity right now but, because but you, you that, can't that would take try a and unity. I, I, you can't put them together. Yeah. You see, the fact that you yeah. don't understand Trinity, uh -huh. the fact that you don't understand, it doesn't uh -huh. change anything. You it's not, it's not no, one. What I'm saying yeah. is, the fact that you don't uh -huh. understand Trinity, yeah. it doesn't. It's not, it doesn't change the Trinity because you see every uh -huh. one of us. And Paddy, the same way, the same way, you if you can, if you can, if you continue saying that as a Christian, I believe in one God. As a Christian, I believe in one God. Even if you say that, and even if you believe it, once you believe in the Trinity, then this is not the concept of the oneness of God which the messengers came with. What you say? I mean, have you taken time to read the full Bible? Yeah, huh? many years ago. Well, but you see, when you take time to read uh, the scriptures, yeah, the Trinity, the the Trinity is a terminology that describes the plurality of God. Yeah, Sorry, say that again. The, the Trinity, Trinity is is a, is a terminology that describes the plurality of God. The priority. Uh, plurality, plurality. Which means? Uh, plurality means, you see, in terms of God is one, yeah. but the same one God. Is the God the Father? The it's three, it's the three Holy separate Spirit. persons. No, it's not three separate persons. That's your understanding. Oh no! Yeah. Many Christians they will say that, no. that, that that God is one in nature, but He's made up of three separate persons. No, God is one. Uh -huh. Yeah. But if God is the God who is one, uh -huh. reveal Himself as Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And when you read the Scripture, according to it is the Father fully God. You see how quickly I'm asking. I'm asking. No, you see how quickly we yeah. have. We have shifted from the gospel into a different thing. Because I this is, this is more important. This is, the, this, no, this is the most important I, thing. I'm happy to talk yeah. about that. Yeah. But I want you, uh -huh. as, a, as I see you as a scholar. No, I'm not a scholar. Definitely not. A scholar. I mean, it's, it's amazing how all of you detach yourself from being scholar. No, you but know you why? See, Shall I tell you why? Yeah. I tell you why. Islamically, people understand it differently, but generally, people they would understand the scholar is someone who, some, some Muslims will understand the scholar, is someone who fulfilled a syllabus. So still recording. Don't worry about you know, it. Don't, don't worry about it. No, I'm saying, don't, don't, don't have no, to, some days I don't like recording. Don't have nothing some to days. hide. No, you, I, no I'm not saying, but some days. But let me yeah, the scholar okay. point. Yeah. Some people, they would understand the scholar, someone who fulfilled a certain uh, curriculum, a certain syllabus, and at the end, they set exams. Okay, so they will say this person has completed this course, they've sat this exams, they're competent, and they will pass and they'll be considered a scholar. That's how some people in the Muslim world consider a scholar. Other people would consider a scholar someone who sat with scholars and studied for, for multiple years until, until the point where the scholars, they said, uh, this person, due to his level of knowledge, his ability, his understanding, we will call, we have given him the title scholar. So someone in Islam may have some kind of knowledge, he may have, be able to speak so nice, we, but we wouldn't we, consider which, him a scholar. Which of these ones that you sat under, underneath? No, so I, I, haven't done, I haven't fulfilled either of them, so that's why I say I'm not a scholar. Well, but I, I can see a lot of your guys look up to you. I've seen them looking up to you. Well, we we respect each other, but it's still not a scholar. But that's that's but, not, that's but that's see, neither okay, here nor there. Fine. But yeah. then I still get back to our initial uh -huh. conversation. Yes. Yeah. What the gospel? Uh -huh. you know, because the angel obviously says when you say it's a good news according uh -huh. to language. Yeah. 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 Good news. But what is the meaning of that good news? Okay, that's your question. I'm going to tell you what I understand from the Quran and from the teachings of the Prophet Muhammad You can accept it, you can reject it, your choice. For us, the Quran explains very clearly that Jesus was sent as a messenger to the children of Israel to call them back to the worship of the one true God alone, without any partners, without any equals. He never claimed to be God, and he never died for the sins of mankind. And he called them to obey God according to the laws of Moses. Some of the laws of Moses, uh, how would you say? Then Jesus, he changed some of them by revelation. But that's the general message. Jesus changed some of them by what? Revelation. Let me find the verse. 
He made some things which were not permissible for the Jews, he made it permissible for them. This is what the Quran mentions. But the point being, Jesus did not come as God or part of a trinity. He did not claim to be the son of God and he did not die for the sins of mankind. Are you talking from the Quran perspective or are you talking from the, the Bible perspective? I'll tell you what perspective I'm talking from. <laughs> I'm talking from the perspective of the Quran. I'm talking from the perspective of reality and the truth. So, but yes. you see, your argument... Sorry, how are you? Alhamdulillah. You see, your, your argument, Jesus himself. Yeah. He himself. Yeah. I mean, it's good to give your personal understanding. Oh, it's not my personal understanding. No, I mean, this is the Quran. No, no, the last okay, final revelation of mankind. What I'm yeah. saying is, yeah. according to Jesus himself, he attested the son of God. So, between, Where did he I'm attest it? It's all over the scripture. So yeah, that's the point. I'm coming, but I'm the coming, Bible. Let me, let me but I don't believe let, the Bible let, let, is let the me. word of God. That's the oh, point. You, oh, you don't yeah. believe the Bible is the yeah. word of God? As, as I mentioned to you previously, the Quran clearly states that Jesus was given the Injil. Okay? And he was given a book. We don't believe that the 27 books of the New Testament, which are attributed to a person called Mark, Matthew, Luke, and John, the 13 letters attributed to Paul, the epistles attributed to James and Peter, etc., 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 down to Revelation. We don't believe these are revelation given to Jesus. We believe they're books written but if after you don't Jesus. Believe, yeah. you don't, so let, let me make it clear. You don't believe the Bible is a word of God. Is that your position? As a whole... No, I just want to understand. Yeah, is that your position? The Bible is not a word of God, according to you. I'll tell you. It's not just a simple yes or no. You see how no. you're doing, uh, you're doing uh, pick and choose? No. Because you always quote the Bible. So no. if the Bible is not a, why are you quoting the Bible for your, uh, for your arg uh, argument? Okay, now you ask one question. I didn't answer, now you ask the second okay. question. Let me answer because the first question. We, let, we let spent let, 10 minutes. Paddy, let, me, say, make, Paddy, see, let me make it clear. We, we spent 10 minutes. Yeah. You haven't answered a simple question I asked. I, I, I'm believe, very I, I, I'm be, not asking them. I, I believe very I simple. answered them. Whether you like the answer or not, whether you agree, that's separate, but I answered them. Very simple question. Okay. I'm trying to have a civil conversation. That's all I want. We are being civil. Yeah. We're not we're not insulting no, each no, other, no, no. we're not I, mocking I each other. I don't like that. That's good. I, I, I agree with you. I don't like my point of view. Let, let him finish, yeah. please. So the Bible. We believe in what was sent down to Moses. Revelation, what was sent down to David, Revelation, what was sent down to Jesus, Revelation. We're saying that the Bible, whether you say 66 books or 73 books, they may contain some elements of the truth of Revelation. But generally, we don't know who wrote them, we don't know when they were written, for majority of the books. And also, they're mixed. They're not the Revelation which was given. So I, I give you a very brief example. We believe that Moses was given the Torah. But what the Christians and Jews today call the Torah, the five books, uh, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy, we don't believe this is what Moses presented to his people. It's, it's fine. It's okay to say we don't believe it. Yeah. You see... But it may no, contain I'm, I'm, some I'm, elements of truth. When you say... Oh, so let me just, let me just clarify, clarify. Let me just clarify, sorry. So, understand... I'm speaking as Yusuf, but this is how I understand that Muslims understand the, the Bible. From three points, from, from three angles. One is, if there's something in the Bible and it's confirmed by the Quran or the Sunnah, the authentic teachings of the Prophet Muhammad we accept it. That's very uh, uh, cherry picking, isn't it? Because you see, you see what you mean. Let, let me finish. No, let me finish. Let, I, I, let me just finish the three things. Uh, okay. if you don't mind, and then I'll come back to the your accusation. No, because what you're saying is, it's wonderful cherry picking games you are playing. No, the, the Bible, the section yeah. that it corresponds with the Quran. Hadi, let me finish. Agree. Let but me. But the ones that doesn't, that's not. That's, that's, let, let me finish. It's a very interesting statement you're making. No problem. There. Let me finish. Let me finish, <laughs> and then we'll discuss no, if it's cherry picking or not. <laughs> Second point is, if there's something in the Bible which the Quran and the Sunnah, the authentic teachings of the Prophet Muhammad reject, we reject it. Such as 
God having a son, such as Jesus dying for the sins of mankind, such as David uh, committing adultery and murder, such as Lot committing incest, such as Noah becoming drunk and cursing his son Canaan, etc., etc. We reject this. Such as God resting on the seventh day, we reject this. Then thirdly, if there's something in the Bible which is neither affirmed or negated in the, in the Qur'an, we stay back. Why we don't consider it cherry-picking? If you want to consider it no, cherry-picking, that's fine. From what you just told, that's because a, a cherry-picking. The yes. Qur'an mentions, I believe, Surah uh, 5, Ayah, I think 48, if I'm not mistaken. It says, وَأَنزَلْنَا عَلَيْكُ الْكِتَابَ بِالْحَقِّ مُصَدِّقًا لِمَا بَيْنِ يَدَيْهِ مِنَ الْكِتَابِ وَمَهَيْمِنٌ عَلَيْهِ that we have sent down to you a book in truth. I'm listening. No it problem. That, um, no, bro ta ta to, no problem. I am the right, but it, it's no fine. Problem. I'll, I'll we, have, we, we have sent down to you a book in truth, confirming the books which came before, and then it mentions Muhammad and Ali. Muhammad and Ali is the Quran is a judge over the previous books. So because we believe the previous books have been corrupted, the way you can know what is right and what is wrong is by the final revelation which has been preserved. Okay. I yes. mean, let, let me come through. You said many things. Yeah. Sorry, brother, if you don't mind. The, uh, you, yes. said, you said many things. Yes, and, uh, Paddy. You, you said the book is cor uh, cor corrupt. The Bible. Yeah, according to yes. what you just said. The book is corrupt. Yeah. Very interesting. Mm. Very, very interesting. No uh, the book is corrupt. The Bible is corrupt. I'm not the but first see, person to say the, it either. The Allah, yeah. Uh, according to yeah. your your admission or submission, yeah. yeah, Allah who revealed the book in terms of the Torah, yes. the Angel and the Zabu, yes, and the Quran, according yes. to Islamic literature, yeah. he never said my revelation is correct. Allah never said that. You see, it's your claim. Allah who is as for you, you are only quoting uh, the words of Allah. You understand? Yes. But the Allah, Allah who is a Rivera of these books never yes. make that claim. So okay. your words is contradicting the revelation of Allah. Because you see, when you go around telling that uh -huh. the book is corrupt, you understand? You haven't heard the average man or average woman uh -huh. who is seeking for truth to guide their life. You understand? I said from the beginning, yeah. the books, you know, the books, according to the books, the books is for there is a message there's a message within the book for our learning. But now you who did not reveal the Torah, who did not reveal the Angel and the Zabu, you are telling a uh, average person who genuinely seeking seeking the truth to guide their life. Yeah. Say it's corrupt. But that's not what Allah said. Okay. So that's one. So I'll, let, let me know I'll, when you I'll, let me yeah, know when you finish I'll, and I'll respond to you. I have yeah. always said this. Yeah. Allah never made that claim. Okay. It's you are making that claim. According to the Quran, yeah. the Quran clearly established yeah. that in Surah 3, verse Ayah 3, said the Quran came to confirm. Confirm. Yeah. I mean, I'm not, I'm coming, let me finish. I'm not an English scholar, but I understand one thing confirmation. <laughs> yes. You understand? Yes. Confirm. Yeah. According to Surah 3, verse 3. According to Surah chapter 2. Ayah 89 yeah. also confirm, use confirm the previous. According to Surah chapter 2, that's 40, 40 to 46, uh -huh. also established the same thing. So you and Allah, uh -huh. who is telling the truth? You or Allah? Because Allah was that you are, and you are quoting from Allah's book. Allah never said, Allah never made okay. that, I'm coming. Allah never made that sub submission that my revelation uh -huh. that I reveal is corrupt. Allah never made that. As far as we have learning the book of Allah, Allah never. But then, uh -huh. the, like, are you a imam or scholar? I mean, obviously, you say you are not scholar. No, I'm, I believe you are imam. No. Anyway, no. What, but you hold a position. No, I'm just a general Muslim. Oh, come on, man. I, I know, I no, know, I I know general Muslim when I talk to general Muslim. Okay, Paddy. All my friends, are, Paddy. most of my friends are Muslim. When I talk to a general Muslim, uh, you know what they said? Yeah. Oh, I'm not, they begin their, uh, this anyway, is that's saying, the, I'm not a scholar. Who am I, so who, am, who their, I'm not? That's a separate okay. issue. But let, but you see, let me come to the point you mentioned. Before we go here. Let me mention the point. Let me mention, let no, me respond I, to the point you made. I gave you time to spoke. Early. No, no, but you made a number of points. No, but 
Yeah, because you see, okay. I have always said, please don't use the word corrupt in your, because you see that statement is, is not helping the average young person okay. who is seeking truth. There's a number of points to respond to what you said. Okay. There's a number of points to respond to what you said. One is what Islam says about the previous revelations, what Allah says about the previous revelations, what the Quran says about the previous revelations. That's one point. Before we come to that, okay, Christian, sorry, biblical scholars will tell you that the books themselves are corrupt. Which one? Okay. Without names, I'll, I'll give you a very interesting example. Now I'm telling you which, 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 so before you, I know you are doing your research, uh, which part of the Bible do you believe? Okay, I just told you, I did tell you very clearly, anything which the Quran confirms, no, I, I believe. Because it's a, book, a, book, a big book, which, which one do you believe and which one do you believe? Which oh. one? Yeah. None of them holy, none of, the, none of the 66 books I believe, all of it is revelation. Whatever is mentioned there, and the Quran affirms it, I accept. But the Quran yeah. is not the authoritative book over the Bible. Well, according, that, if, if, according if, to the Quran, that's it is. What you, are, yeah. you see, the Quran L is let not me, the, Let me show you something. How do you, you see, with me? You are making... I like you already. I mean... No problem. Let me show you something. Very interesting. I am rushing let, through and okay. let, let me show, have a good conversation. I, let me show you three verses from the Old Testament. If, if you want, if, no, you're, if you're too busy, we can continue another time. Yes, I, I, okay. I like that. This is Exodus chapter 6. Okay. Okay. And verse, three, verse 2 and 3. Exodus 6, verse 2 and 3. And God spoke unto Moses and said unto him, I am the Lord. Okay. I'm going to say something now. I can prove it to you, but you can accept. But look. In the Old Testament, when you have Lord written L-O-R-D, all capitals, the Hebrew is, however people pronounce it, Yahweh, Jehovah. Do you agree or do you, I can, I can get- I'm, I'm listening. I'm do you, listening. But do you agree? Because I can get you the audio, but I don't, but your no, time is- No, no, fine. I'm So this word in Hebrew is Jehovah, however people choose to pronounce it. Okay. And then it mentions in the, the third verse, and I appeared unto Abraham, unto Isaac and unto Jacob by the name of God Almighty but by my name Jehovah was I not known to them okay so let me just paraphrase here in Exodus God is telling Moses that I've, I've revealed to you my name Jehovah I spoke previously to Abraham Isaac and Jacob but they never knew the name Jehovah huh? I'm okay, so let's go back to Genesis and see. So this is Genesis uh, chapter, thir chapter 13, verse 4. Unto, so it's Genesis 13, and maybe the listener doesn't know, but you know that Genesis comes before Exodus. And Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob come before yeah, Moses. It's the first book in the Hebrew okay. Text. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, chapter 13, verse 4 mentioned, Unto the place of the altar which he had made there at first, and there Abram called on the name of, the, of Jehovah. So, Genesis chapter 13, verse 4 is saying that Abraham called unto the name Jehovah. Okay, last last one. When we go to Genesis chapter 14, verse 14. Oh, sorry, no. Uh, chapter 14, verse... I know, Chapter uh, Genesis 14, verse 22. And Abram said to the king of Sodom, I have lifted up my, my hand unto the, unto the Lord, unto Jehovah, the most high God, the possessor of the heaven and the earth. So, if you got the point, my point is Exodus 
it claims that God has told Moses that I'm revealing my name to you, Jehovah. I revealed myself, Almighty God, to Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, but I never told them the name Jehovah. Okay. When we go back to the book of Genesis, Abraham used the name Jehovah and he knew the name Jehovah. So this is a clear contradiction. The way biblical scholars explain this is saying that that these two stories or these two incidents, they come from two separate sources. And later on, after Moses, an editor put the two stories together from two separate sources because this is a clear contradiction. So without the Quran, without what uh, Yusuf says, what the Muslims say, the Bible itself is very clear that this is not the preserved revelation from God because it contains contradictions. So, according to your understanding, can you explain it a different way? Well, I mean, uh, you're a nice man. Uh, I think uh, you call me... Uh, can you explain it a different way? You see? Nice man, yeah. bad man. Can no, you explain I'm not it? Saying, but you see? Can you explain it? That, uh, because God revealed himself to Moses as, uh, the, uh, the, as the name of Jehovah. And, I think, I, and he said, I never gave this name. I never revealed myself with this name to Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. But when you go back to Genesis, Abraham, according to Genesis, he used the name Jehovah, I mean, he knew uh, the name Jehovah. With due respect, I think the next time we'll, I will we'll dive into... No because, problem. Uh, uh, but this, this thing, you see what you just said? Yeah. It doesn't change anything. I've said it from the beginning. Yeah. The fact that you don't you don't understand Trinity. Explain or, it no, to me. No, explain fact, this no, point. The fact I asked yeah. you many uh, simple yeah. questions. And you can now, change the subject if you I want, Paddy. I haven't changed the subject, but I said okay. to you the answer next the, time. Answer no, this point. With due respect, this one, okay. I will... You'll will, come will, back to it. Will, yeah, I'll come okay, back no to problem, so no problem. That, but the question I asked you... But for me, it's clear. That's a clear contradiction. If I if I show you the Quran, Yeah. Yeah, I think we we'll move on next uh -huh. time. We talk about uh -huh. Okay, see, no problem. The, if you, uh -huh. the beginning of our conversation, yeah. I think you, you know, we, I respect the fact that we're yeah. able to have a very polite, I, reasonable. I love, I'm not the no, type of guy like to cast this down. Let's, we, our world is changing. No, I appreciate and things it. I, that I, we have to talk intellectually, you know, the fact that we might have a, no, a we, bit we of differ. disagree. No, we disagree completely, the, the but we can day, be polite. At the end of the day, yeah. if you don't understand what the gospel means, yeah. my humble submission to you, yeah. go and do deep investigation. Because, uh -huh. you see, Quran mentioned a very important word, uh -huh. the angel, which is the good news. But the good news... But the angel was given the, to Jesus, the, not the, the 27 see, books. Are you saying... Yeah. When, are you saying... When Jesus was walking, he was holding a book, was giving to Jesus, holding a book that he was preaching from. Is that what you're saying? I'm telling you that Jesus, his message is very clear. And when the Quran says Injil, it says, We gave him the Injil. So, uh -huh. if I want to understand, are you saying uh, Jesus, when he was, uh -huh. he was holding a book and preaching from, is that come, what you're saying? Let me come to it, let me come to it. Paddy. Let me come you to see, it. You are very, the way you are saying it, you see, it's giving a book. Uh -huh. Jesus is a revelation. He's no, a gospel, No, he was friend. given a revelation. He's a gospel. Uh, Don't but, die uh -huh. rejecting the gospel. Because uh -huh. otherwise, as a good man like uh -huh. you, it will be the biggest mistake you've ever made in your life. You can come with the emotional talk all it's you want. It's no emotional talk. It's, no, I it's have no emotional, it's biblical. The Quran, it's no emotional the final talk. revelation, from, Do you know sent that down upon the Prophet Muhammad Since the, uh, I'm, Paddy, since the, since Paddy, the, I'm coming. Are you since, changing the subject? I'm not changing the subject. I think you are. Let, let me, you let know, me, since let the, let war, the war took place, just a few weeks ago, uh -huh. 200 Muslims uh -huh. have had an encounter with the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay. Anyway. No, listen. just a few weeks ago. Go and check it. Paddy, Paddy. And they are, they are Paddy, coming home. Paddy, Paddy. Let's yeah, have a conversation. Home, let's, let's not let's not go let's not go to preacher mode. No, it's not preacher mode. Okay, you know, chapter three, verse three, you quoted. Let's look at it. Chapter three, verse three, you quoted. Can we? Look? You quoted a verse. Yes, right, right, I think because uh, not only yourself, 
I understand, obviously, you didn't just read it, you heard it from someone else, you accepted it. it. No, and you I've, read it as well. Read it, but yeah. I don't think you came across this idea yourself. Possibly you no, did. No, I've read it. Okay. I've got Quran, I read the Quran. No problem. But I'm saying other people, they use this verse as an evidence from a Christian, Jewish, Hebrew, Islamic perspective. But I, I would say they haven't understood the verse, and I'm going to tell you why. Okay. So, chapter 3, ayat number 3. نزل عليك الكتاب بالحق. So, we have sent down upon you, or oh, sorry, he has sent Allah, because it mentions first, Allah, yes. Allah, none has the right to be worshipped but him. Al Hay. Al Hay is the, the all living, Al Qayyum, the self subsisting. He has sent down upon you the book. Here, the book here is referring to the Quran sent down upon the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Yeah, whether you accept it or not, but it's no, saying. I mean confirm. Yes. It's not me saying the Quran. Yeah. Let me finish. Yeah. Bil haq in truth, musaddiqan lima bain yaday, confirming that which you have with you between your hands, and then it says, wa anzal al-Tawrat wa al-Injil, and we have sent down the Torah and the Injil. So. When, when the Muslims talk about, or when the Quran talks about the Torah, and it talks about the Injil, it's talking about what was sent down to Moses and what was sent down to Jesus. It's not talking about what the Christians or the Jews so they wrote the, what, after. What was sent down to Jesus? The Injil was sent down to him, but not the, the, not, the 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 not the 27 books. So, I mean, yeah. if I understood yeah. what you just said, yes. so, I mean, are you saying so you see, a, but you, but no, 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 I, mean, I, I understand I'm your only, question. I'm no, no, but do you, do you understand? Argument. This is not affirming the 27 books of the Bible. No, I mean, do you see, understand we that? understand do you the under scriptures. We understand the position of the scriptures. Just yes but or what no. You just but, said, do you understand when it says, and he sent down the Torah and the Torah and the Injil. It's talking about something which was sent down. It's not talking about 27 books of the New Testament I'm, I just written want, I just after want to Jesus. Follow your argument. Yes. That's what I want. To yes or no? So are you saying yes. from the from yeah. your own? Uh, are you saying from Jesus, my own? From what you just explained. Uh, from my own. No. I, yeah. This, so, listen, listen, listen. Yeah. Explanation is something else. Yeah. I'm simply telling you what is written. Okay. And so, he sent down the Torah and the Injil, min qabl, from before. Hudan Linnas, a guidance of mankind. Wa anzal al Quran, and we have sent down the criteria. The criteria being the Quran. Inna ladina kafuru ba'atillah lohum azab and shadid. Whoever disbelieves in the in the verses or the signs of Allah, then for him is a painful punishment. My point is, this verse is talking about what Allah sent down to Moses and what Allah sent down to Jesus. It's not talking about after Jesus was taken up, anonymous unknown authors, or a person called Paul wrote down and said no, that no, this is I the gospel. Know, that, I know every Muslim uh, I've ever spoke to. Yeah. All my good friends, uh -huh. the, every Muslim from scholar, imam, a layman, uh -huh. they all have problems with so Paul. No, so no, Paul is separate. when you bring no, Paul, no, my point you're is, open at this no, no, Paul is, a, Paul, Paul is a separate issue. We, no, but the point, we, we the point is... No, no. Muslim have no. I, I mentioned Paul okay. because 13 books are attributed to him. That, but my point okay. is, the Quran is talking about what was sent down. It's not talking about 27 books written so, after Jesus. So, are you yes. from the Quran yes. position? Yes. When Jesus was preaching, he was holding a book wa in the Quran. And we gave... Wa Kitab, and I was given a book. Yes, so, he had a book. So Jesus, he had a revelation, Je not 27 Jesus books. Jesus has a book in his hand. Yes. Thank you very much. Nice conversation. Have a good day. Okay, Paddy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh,